Hi everyone, this is Stuart. Just going to show you today how to set up your Retrobox folders if you're a new user. Um, really simple way of doing it, um, fully automated via Retrobox, and also how you can download a game and um, play that within Retrobox. So let's get started. Let's create the Retrobox folders first. We need to have those in place. So navigate across to your Retrobox menu and open it up. So you get one in there about ES File Explorer. At this stage, we'll just continue that. That relates to uh, external storage. So sometimes uh, it can hide your external storage. So this is the um, traditional kind of mobile version, um, not the Android TV version. So if you are on the Android TV version, press back, and you'll get an option for settings, same as I would do by going top left. So in this version, I go top left, and go to settings, and then you select diagnostics and you've got my games collection folders as a top option so if we select that you can see there it says SD card retro box and a storage emulated retro box no folders found so if I select SD card retro box it'll say the folder doesn't exist would you like me to create it so I hit create and the folders have been created for me that's all you need to do to set up the folders in retro box really simple so what we'll do is we'll back out our retro box. And we'll go back into the build. And what we need to do now is get a game to test. So within the build, uh, if you download from the wizard, you get the install me folder with a bunch of apps in. If you download from the Retromania app, um, all the apps are listed in there. One of those apps is Rombuddy, so I'll just use this as an example. It's um, built into Retromania, so you can obviously download games from. So you can see you've got a wide selection of different systems and platforms here. Uh, for this demo, I'll just go with Nintendo and say 10 Yard Fight, top of the list. So once the bar goes light, select it, hit download, and that's your game downloaded. So now we're back out here, um, we go to ES File Explorer, ROM Buddy will download to a folder called ROMs. So what we need to do is go to that folder, get the file, and then add it into the relevant Retrobox folder. So if you're on a touchscreen device, you can hit zero there, or if you're on a Shield TV or an Android TV device, if you can go top left, then you can select Home, bring it to exactly the same page. So we navigate down to the ROMs folder, where Rombody downloads to, so it's there. And you see it says NES for the system that we downloaded, and there's 10 Yard Fight. Um, it can read zip files as well in Retrobox, but I'll show you how to extract as well for those who have never done it before. Um, so say if you've got a PlayStation game, it would have to be extracted. Uh, you can't read the zip files for PlayStation games. So um, all you would do is select ES Zip Viewer, so that shows you inside the zip file. Highlight it, hold the button down on it, on the actual game, so not the HTM file. And then it's the up arrow and the zip up top right. So hit that, choose the path I want to extract it to, so I'll just extract it to SD card 0. Hit OK. So back out of here, takes me back into the main menu. So this is SD0, which is home location. So we'll never get down to, there we go, 10 yard fight. So what I want to do is I want to put this into the relevant folder for Retrobox, which is, so there's your Retrobox folder that's created for you. And there's all the individual systems folders that have all been created. So all we would do is we're going to NES in this instance and then we hit paste. There we go, our NES game is in paste has been pasted uh, into the correct folder for Retrobox. So now if we go and open Retrobox again and you'll need to reload Retrobox so that it can do a scan for the games. So I'll just force close that, make it a bit quicker. Scroll across. 
select retro box Ignore that warning message it should mention NES content quickly scanning local drives you see I've got one extra game in there now if I go top left I can go to select source you can choose to just view what's online your online games or your local collection so if I just choose my local collection there we have 10 yard fight if you're using an Android TV device you'd want to set up your controller at this point so you'd go top left uh, settings gamepad options which is gamepad and then it's about as straightforward as it gets in here you just hit the button that it represents and then hit save I'm on the touch screen so I don't need to do that so I'll just cancel so if you want to play the game in Retrobox tap the button press play it'll download additional emulation support that it needs for that system so this is the NES in that instance install the additional support that's required you only need to do this the first time that you're playing on that platform and then hit play so you do get a message that pops up before the game starts telling you the controls and other options that you have so there press back inside the game for options touch screen to continue and there we have it 10 yard fight up and running so simple as that guys Hit start just to show you it's working. Don't want to do two player. Yeah, high school team. I've no idea what I'm doing with American football, so probably a wiser option. All the noise, I don't like it if you let the air down a little bit. And Mr. Manning got in a lot of trouble for that, I think. Well, this looks decidedly iffy. I don't think I'll play this game, but that's just an example showing you how to do it. Um, if you've got any questions or queries, ask in the group or have a look on the forum um, and I'm sure there'll probably be an answer or solution there for you but hopefully that gives you guys a, a good indication of how you can get up and running and get a game going in no time. Alright, cheers!